we had uh, three classes of, of uh, endpoints that, that I'm going to review with you. One was uh, the primary efficacy endpoint, which, which was a change in nt ProBMP. nt ProBMP is a marker of, uh, of congestion, uh, that's the best way to describe it, and it's been well and uh, tightly linked to prognosis and outcomes in patients with heart failure. So we thought that was a, a clinically uh, useful surrogate. We also looked at the safety endpoints of worsening uh, 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 renal function, uh, symptomatic hypertension, uh, hyperkalemia, as well as angioedema. Uh, and we then looked at rates uh, in exploratory analysis of clinical endpoints. And the, the most important one that I'll mention was a serious clinical composite that included the rate of death or heart failure hospitalization or implantation of a left ventricular assist device or listening for transplantation. Um, and so with regards to our primary efficacy endpoint, enalapril led to a reduction in NT-proBNP, but Seguro Valsartan led to a much greater reduction. Uh, and that was a 29% relative risk reduction uh, in favor of Seguro Valsartan, which was highly statistically significant. Uh, so we know that this drug works to reduce this marker of risk, it, and it works very quickly, and it is persistent and sustained over eight weeks. With regards to safety, we were reassured that there was no differences in the safety signals between these two these drugs. So they're equally safe, uh, to put it in non-statistical parlance, okay? And so the worsening hyper, uh, uh, renal function, hyperkalemia, angioedema, and symptomatic hypertension basically the same between the two groups. I do want to mention the angioedema because we were surprised and there was a numerical advantage in favor of Scuro Valsartan. There were six patients who got angioedema who were all black that received an alapril and only one patient in Securo Valsartan that received, uh, that was white, that, that got angioedema. And you know, that uh, didn't meet, there were small numbers of events, this is a relatively rare complication, but it, it could be a very dangerous one and we were surprised at that numerical difference and I think that needs to be explored uh, further. Uh, with regards to the uh, clinical endpoints, we saw that there was a 7.5% absolute risk reduction in favor of Secuto Valsartan. What does that mean? That means that you have to treat 13 patients to, re to, uh, to reduce the likelihood that one patient would, have, uh, would, be, uh, would, have, would not have a heart failure hospitalization or death. The rates of deaths were 15 in the enalapril group, 10 in Secuto Valsartan group, so it was an absolute risk reduction of over 1% and the reduction in heart failure hospitalizations was 44% in favor of Secuto Valsartan. So uh, across the board, the results were very consistent. And then we looked at 12 subgroups, uh, and you know, what we looked there is to see, is there any groups that might have a different effect or an opposite effect than the, than the whole? And we were glad to see that across 12 subgroups that we would argue would be very clinically meaningful, uh, women, African-American patients, uh, uh, patients who had uh, who were de novo heart failure patients, no prior diagnosis, versus patients who were chronic heart failure but had an acute hospitalization, no difference. Uh, uh, patients who had been on prior uh, uh, medication therapy for heart failure versus those who, who, uh, who were not the same effect. So the consistency of the effect favoring Segura Valsartan was also an important message that we discussed this morning. Um, and so overall, what I believe this, this means, it really marks a new day uh, for acute heart failure patients. Uh, uh, you know, my, uh, the discussant uh, uh, and my colleague, Dr. Allen, said it simply, uh, it, it says, keep it simple. Uh, we have evidence now in the acute hospital setting for patients who have been stabilized, the Segura Valsartan leads to better outcomes. We have the long-term data in chronic patients from Paradigm uh, that it also reduces uh, uh, outcomes. So put together, it really does say that I, I think the, the, the emerging standard will likely be that uh, for patients with acute heart failure, uh, once you've decongested them and stabilized them hemodynamically, Secuto Valsartan will lead to a benefit.